guys, I'm here with Keegan Allen, Toby from Pretty Little Liars, and we're going to have a lovely little chat. All right. Hi. So, <laughs> so your dad was a stage and film actor. Mm -hmm. You've done a few plays, but would you ever get back into theatre? Yeah, of course. I, I love, I love, um, I love being on stage. I love the electricity from the audience. In fact, just being at this convention here, it's wonderful because when you're on stage, you, it's, it's a different beast than when you're on. Uh, on camera like mm -hmm. right now or on film you have to there's a continuation of the experience of the character arc so you yeah, don't have like a moment yeah you don't have a moment to do each scene it's like you gotta just go through the entire thing and so I love that about plays I would love to do it again yeah. and not only did you grow up around acting your mom was a painter mm -hmm. do you ever paint I, I do. I do little doodles here and there, but she's way more skilled at that avenue. And she also makes baskets and like all kinds of cool stuff. So I do get a lot of inspiration from my mother, yeah. Yeah. And I also hear you love reading books and you love playing video games. If you had to pick, what would you rather? Play the lead in your favorite book made into a film or play the lead in your favorite video game made into film? Oh, interesting question. I wish that I was just a bit older and a bit... Uh, I, I think I was, I wish I was a bit older looking because then I could play Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher series and if people know that it's being made into a Netflix uh, show, so that would be amazing. But uh, I guess I would, I would choose both. I think that's going to be my answer though because the Witcher is so cool, but I wish that would Well, if anyone's watching. Hey, Witcher, <laughs> Geralt of Rivia, I could do, I could do an entire thing. Looks like a wyvern over there. <laughs> I think you should be cast right now. Oh, thanks. And also on Pretty Little Lies, you convinced Marlene to tell you what happens in the mm -hmm, end game. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wish you kept it as a surprise? Uh, no, I liked knowing about it. Because um, you know, being part of a show is different than watching a show and like being surprised by it. Uh, it. It informs the character a little bit more, it informs my decisions you know, later on. I know that it, it ultimately as an actor you want to feel the surprise with the with the character information, but uh, I, I found it to be something that I wouldn't give it up for the world <laughs> knowing the ending. Yeah, that's right. So what's the first photo you took of the riots outside of your window? Mm -hmm. The moment you realized that photography was a passion that you wanted to explore? It was actually interesting. That was the first photo I took, but I didn't realize it was it, not until I was about nine years old. I remember taking that with my dad's help. He was like with me and he was like, okay, you gotta pro okay, press this and look through this and make sure it's focused. And I remember like focusing in and seeing everything come into like sharp crystal clear view and then being like, wow, this is crazy. And then I think what it was was when I was around like nine years old, um, my dad took a picture of me eating ice cream or something and he was like, oh, the light's really beautiful, just stand right here. And I remember feeling like it was just like this, like nothing was happening. And we take, he took the photo and you know, a week went by because it was film. It went through emulsification and all that. It came to me and I was just like, what? <laughs> this was not how I remember the moment. It was like really beautiful, golden light, interesting, and, and it had that grain of film. And I was like, oh man, I want to do this all the time for everything in my life because if I see this up, if he sees something a certain way, I want to be able to see like that. Yeah. Um, and you also yeah. have a new book coming out April yeah. 24th this year. Look at this. Yeah. That was a great interview. Really. And <laughs> it's called Hollywood. Wow. It took you six years to create. But this is what I love the most, the idea you had behind it mm. of showing the dream versus the reality of ho Hollywood. I'm Tell really impressed by this. Are there any like stories, like sneak peek stories you could give us that you came across while shooting the book? Yeah, um, so the whole the whole book, as you said, it's like the dream the, versus the reality versus, you know, actually living in Hollywood and growing up there. Um, I, I found such an experience there of like, because I grew up there, I also grew up around other people that grew up there. And I saw a lot of stories and um, I was able to kind of invest myself in some of these stories. And one of them was this idea that I kind of created for myself of the perfect world and what I based my inst my second Instagram name on, which is This Foreverland. Because um, when you're taking photos in these situations, you always want to feel like you're in the right space and you're representing the perfect photograph. And one of the stories that like I guess really impacted me and kind of helped me write this book was 
finding these perpetual lands where within the recesses of our mind we go to sometimes to feel relaxed or mm-hmm. find moments of um, sentimentality. Uh, I felt I feel that way all around Hollywood and it is really a space that I feel like I create. So I guess one of the stories would be um, there's a, there's like a there's so many the thing is I included a lot of like little short stories in it um, of situations uh, that I had come in contact with and I changed like you know a lot of it around so that it wouldn't be anyone in particular that would be like hey that's me um, but uh, but basically the the story of this foreverland was was kind of started out in this book as um, as a means to explain that feeling and that narrative of walking through Hollywood and being like wow this is really beautiful um, even though you know to some people its beauty is uh, subjective yeah. 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 Is that good? That's, no, yeah, that's amazing. That's, okay. So Ian Harding and you have a love of bird watching mm-hmm. and going on adventures in common. Yeah. Would you ever do a crossover and you could take photos of the journey and what you find and he could write about it? Yes, I would love that. We were walking around Manchester uh, yesterday and we saw a lot of really interesting little birds and he was <laughs> talking about them and I would love that. I think it would be in, an interesting collaboration of running around taking photos and also him writing up about these birds and these experiences. Because ornithology is such an interesting, and dive, it's, a, it's like a deep, deep hole that yeah. you like look into, you can peer down, but once you start getting the knowledge of it, what Ian has. It goes has, way down. It goes really <laughs> deep and it's interesting. And this is something I find amazing, mm-hmm. the amount of charity work you do, oh, from you. Sunshine Kids mm-hmm. to Race to MS, mm-hmm. which is bringing the best doctors together to help and find a cure to, for MS. Oh my gosh. And so Oceana, yeah. oh uh, which is a charity for animals in the sea. Yeah. And you're an ambassador for Wild, Wild Aid. Aid. Oh my yeah. gosh, I'm so impressed. And I love that because it stops illegal animal importing. I mean, what more can you do? Oh my gosh! Well, I'm really, I'm really impressed with your knowledge of uh, my uh, the background of things I'm that I support. I'm really impressed by you. Oh, thank you. I no, I just, I think that all of those are really important, and they all have. There's key reasons why I'm part of each one of those, but you just named them all. That's great. <laughs> I, you know, I'm always looking for new uh, opportunities to be part of something that's greater than, uh, you know, what what I believe I can help with. I always want to like be part of something where I can get the word out using yeah. social media, using um, the shows, pr- like the propulsion of the show to fan bases. Cause people look to us and they want to like, you know, know what we're into. And I'm all about, I know this is going to sound really lame, but I'm all about saving the planet no, as amazing. much as I can. So what yeah. Need, especially yeah. now. Yeah, especially now, it's very true. Well, thank you very much for thank your time. You. It was lovely meeting you. This is an amazing interview right here. I can't even believe it. I'm oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.